one opening Missouri show. This week, Jeff's headed. Done messed up. Here we go again, one more time. Is this gonna be us together? If it sounds good, y'all. Yeah. Let's do it one more time, y'all. Yep. Try to do take two. Two. This week, Jeff is headed to the Rowe Farm just out of Brookfield, Missouri. Do it again. What did I do wrong? Do it quicker. Do it. Quicker? God dang it. It just seemed like you had too many pauses. Now. Okay, here we go. Three. Three this of the opening. Hold on. God dang it. Three of the opening of the Missouri show. This week, Jeff's headed to Missouri. This week, Jeff's headed to the Rowe Farm just out of Brookfield, Missouri. And I'm sharing camp with Chris Kane and John McNeil of Old Man Outdoors. Good. Everybody happy? <laughs> Right at first light, I caught a glimpse of an outline of a buck, pretty good buck, and he bedded down 30 yards right in front of me. Well, Jeff wasn't the only one that had a buck close by at first light. Like he might have picked up our scent a little bit, but couldn't tell him. 
As John and Chris's morning hunt was winding down, Jeff's hunt was just getting started. About mid-morning, I had a younger buck coming through, and he was headed right towards my bedded buck. I know what you were thinking. If he would just get close enough to the bedded buck, he should stand up. Non-Stop Hunting is brought to you by Tree Spider Safety System, Mossy Oak, Old Man Outdoors, Muzzy, Fatal Attraction, Night Inhaled Game Calls, New Fletch Archery, Limb Saver, and CampbellCameras.com. This segment of Non-Stop Hunting is brought to you by Tree Spider Safety System. Light, easy, fast, safe. After sitting in my old man pretty well motionless for hours, the buck finally stands up. kind of slow morning. We thought we were going to have a good morning at about 7.30. We saw that little eight point. I think what we're going to do now is go back to the house, regroup, and uh, go check a couple spots for this afternoon and set up a new set for uh, four in the morning too. about four o'clock now. We've been sitting there all day long. Nothing to eat, nothing to drink, just sitting patiently, waiting for this buck to stand up and present a shot. sit there all day, he finally stands up and walks directly away from you. Yep, never gave me a shot. Son of a gun. There's seven or eight deer already came out of that other end up there. It's Tuesday, October the 24th. Yesterday afternoon, the guys were hunting with sat on the north end of this bean field. I saw three or four good bucks come out of that, this head of woods to our west. It's just a little after four right now, and there are 11, 12 deer already coming into these beans. Hopefully later on this afternoon, they'll work their way down here. But...
This segment of Non-Stop Hunting is brought to you by Old Man Outdoors. Experience superior huntability. This segment of Non-Stop Hunting is brought to you by Night and Hail Game Calls. Bring him closer. Well, welcome to our third afternoon in Missouri. I'm trying a new spot tonight. I think I might shoot the first thing that walks in. <laughs> I'm ready to shoot something. That tree just fell over. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign, but the tree just fell over right there, about 50 yards away. Hey, has anyone seen John McNeil? Just got his stands a little bit warmer this afternoon. But it was about to drop down. We had not in this spot in a couple of days. It um, should be real good. We've had a lot of deer movement in the afternoons this week. And this spot's been left alone all week, so hopefully we'll get a shot at a big one. So, it's coming down to the wire now. This segment of Non-Stop Hunting is brought to you by Fatal Attraction. Real grain, real results. This segment of Non-Stop Hunting is brought to you by Muzzy. Bad to the bone.
on porch sleep right now. It was last night. It's our last afternoon here in Missouri. We're sitting on this same bean field that we've been sitting on the last couple of days. my shot. Shot right over his back. Got another chance at him. I don't know where the air went. I don't know what happened. It was, uh, was kind of already on edge. That last evening proved to be action packed. But well, John pinwheeled his buck and I was happy to help follow that short blood trail. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Got your Missouri <laughs> buck. Tagged out in Missouri. Got my doe last night. Got him tonight. She turned into a Missouri kill machine. Chris was a little unsure on his hit, so he backed out and decided to let his buck sit overnight. Yeah, and the bad thing about that was Chris and John both had to catch early flights that next morning. So I decided to stick around, have a short hunt that next morning, then Terry and I were gonna go look for Chris's buck. There's the arrow right here. Clean veins. Sums up my week right there. There he is. Chris is gonna be happy. Oh, look at this bruiser. Good job, Terry. Uh, this makes me very happy. I'm really happy for Chris, too. Hey, I wanna appreciate all your hard work. That's a, it's a pleasure. I, I just got lucky enough to find him. It was a, That's one of the most exciting deer I've ever seen laying on the ground. For sure. Oh, I'm sure I can only imagine. That's heavy. 
After watching all this footage, it makes me a little jealous that I didn't get to go back to the Rowe Ranch this year. Oh, it's always a good time. A big thank you to John Rowe and to Terry Hoyt. And even though I didn't feel my tag this time, I get to go back in a couple of weeks, hopefully with a different outcome. Nonstop Hunting is brought to you by Tree Spider Safety System, Mossy Oak, Old Man Outdoors, Muzzy, Fatal Attraction, Night Inhaled Game Calls, New Fletch Archery, Limb Saver, and CampbellCameras.com.